Hello, ladies and gentlemen, loyal Imperial citizens and rebel scum alike. Welcome to another Liam Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today, where we're going to be unlocking the most famous ship in that galaxy far, far away, the Millennium Falcon. Now, I am ashamed to say that I just really dropped the ball on this. Um, obviously, I can blame SEE, and sure, my farm for Sith Eternal did take a long time, did take up all of my resources, but how have I not unlocked the Millennium Falcon? Crazy. Um, and of course, the reason is that, to be honest with you, I just was not focusing on ships until the recent, I mean, not so recent now, but the changes when they restructured um, all of the GA levels, the divisions within Grand Arena, and now I really find myself having to focus on ships. So I got to it as soon as I unlocked SEE, I started farming uh, various other characters that I need for unlocks. Check out my uh, 3PO video. Recent, recently took 3PO to 7 stars. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner for that. Check it out if you haven't already. This is my next one as I get back on the bandwagon of unlocking legendary characters and ships as we move through the journey guide. Now the Falcon unlocks at 5 stars. Um, so in order to do that you need 5 uh, star bounty hunter ships. Um, now it's interesting because there are only five bounty hunter ships in the game currently. Hopefully that's going to change soon. I do not yet have Razor Crest because I didn't bother unlocking Best Carmando. I'll probably get to it in the end. So we're going to be using the basic ships today. Slave 1, uh, Hounds 2, Xanadu Blood, and IG 2000. So you can see the recommended power level there. Uh, for the first tier, 18,500. I'm way above that on all of my ships, so I don't think this is going to be a problem. Oh, okay, so we get Darth Vader. Interesting. I, I, I don't know anything about this event, so this is all new to me. So let's load up the Bounty Hunter ships here. Can we change that capital ship? I mean, presumably not, because that's this is a unit, uh, uh, an event unit. Yeah, because it's definitely not my Vader there. Okay, well, let's let's just see how we go, I guess. Uh, tier 1, let's, let's give it a shot. I'm quite excited to do this, actually. Nice. Okay, nice cinematic opening here. Nice. Okay. I'm liking this a lot. I want that ship, not excuses. Here's where the fun begins. This event lets you use the ruthless Darth Vader to command his capital ship, the Devastator. Awesome. Vader's Devastator is similar to the Executrix, but provides its bonuses to all ships under your command, dispels all buffs on the target enemy when you call reinforcements. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Interesting. I had no idea this happened in this event. This is a lot of fun. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, keep in mind that the Devastator is only available to you in this event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't use it elsewhere in the game. Cool. So we're, we're way overpowered here. So, I mean, it is cool that we get the Devastator and it's got those um, those different abilities, but I don't really think we're going to end up using them. Boom. I guess let's just do basic there, yeah. Um, I guess just, just, yeah, let him have some boom. Plasma in the face. Or turbo lasers, rather. Boom. Protection up, but not enough. Not enough. Boom. There we go. Tier 1 in the bag. Well, that was fun. Uh, very straightforward, but a lot of fun. Obviously, severely overpowered here. And that's the first 25 shards of the Millennium Falcon uh, on our way to the unlock at 145. Uh, let, let's do it. Let's just keep this party rolling and move on to Tier 2. Okay, so it looks like they're slowly powering up the Devastator there. We've got a slightly more powerful uh, Vader this time. Punch it, Chewie. Oh, Chewbacca noises. Can't do Chewbacca noises. What do you mean it's not working? It's not my fault. You're doomed, I'm afraid. So once again, we're, we're just going to pretty much be doing the same thing. I think as we get up to the unlock tier, this is going to get a little more challenging. But right now, we're just so overpowered here. Um, it's it's not, even, not even a challenge at all. Boom. This is going even quicker, I think, than uh, the first time, actually. Boom. Okay, tier two. Two down, three to go. Nice. Another 25 in the bag. I do like this new redesign that you can see in the bottom there. 
you know, they're they're keeping count of the shards for you. I like that. It's very helpful in the bottom left hand corner. Um, let's let's just keep just keep going. Tier three. Okay, Vader's getting a lot more powerful now. I think I'm just going to keep IG two thousand in reserve there because it's by far the weakest of my uh, bounty hunter ships because IG. Um, 88 is by far the weakest of my bounty hunters. Sorry, I missed that dialogue there. What did he say? Something about the guns and Chewie, I think. Don't get cocky, kid. I don't think it was that. Boom. Still super, super easy at this point. I am hoping that it becomes more of a challenge um, as we get closer to the unlock. Because um, I've only just got, I think, so Slave 1 is 7 star. But uh, Xanadu Blood is only 5 star. Boom, and House Tooth is only 5 star as well. Boom, nice. We are cutting straight through this. Very easy bounty hunter money. Boom, there we go, and we're getting close to the unlock. I like this a lot. Well, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not gonna, not gonna mix things up. Let's just keep going. Same, same plan. Same outcome, fingers crossed. Chewbacca noises. Hey, let's keep a little optimism here. Misplaced optimism, my friend. Okay, so this is actually a, a little tougher. Still, obviously, we're super over. Wow, and we took out the Falcon first. Interesting. So it's it's so strange because this hasn't been, you know, not a single time has it been difficult, but we've had different kill order um, come up just just naturally with the enemy ships. So that's been kind of kind of fun. Uh, I guess let's let's call out IG2000. Why not? The more bounty hunters, the better, right? Let's just do a basic. Boom. Boom. In the face. Opposing command. Okay, I mean, that's not particularly useful, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway. Boom. Totally didn't need to do that. But it worked out. Nice to play around a little bit. Well, there we go. Only one more tier to go now, folks. Exciting. Tier 5. This is the unlocked tier. So if any tier was going to prove any sort of challenge, um, it would be this one. They're saying that the required power is 28,000. Everyone is still way above that. And yeah, so most of them are at 5 star except for Slave 1. So I'm not going to be able to go any further with this today i'm gonna this is my final tier but it's the unlock tier so that's a good place to be able to get to let's give this a go okay the unlock tier so we get the full cinematic opening again that's kind of fun here we go bring them to me I got a bad feeling about this. Huh, classic. Love it. Okay. So, still, it looks like we're super outclassed, especially with all the... I mean, Houndstooth is just such a powerful ship. Interesting, because you need Houndstooth to um, to do this, right? It's a, it's a required ship. So, um, they're, they're obviously, you know, planning on this being a little tough. But, so far, it really hasn't been. It looks like, again, we're going to get through this without them calling out a reinforcement without us needing to pull out our reinforcement. I might do it anyway if we get the chance. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Da -da -da -da. I see I don't use IG-2000. Boom, but there we go. IG-88 to the rescue gave him the kill shot. Awesome, that's the final 45 shards and we have now unlocked a five star Millennium Falcon. Excellent. Boom. I'm actually really, really pleased about this and really excited to see uh, what difference this makes um, to my uh, fleet in Grand Arena. Now, as I said, it's going to be a little while. going to keep farming those Bounty Hunter ships because I am going to take, um, obviously, want to get the uh, Falcon up to uh, seven stars. But you know what? Five stars looks good to me. Look at all the work I have to do. Still got a five star Chewie. I think he's going to be my next one. Watch out for that in the coming coming weeks and days. I take him up to seven star. But there we go. Boom. Five star Millennium Falcon. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. Let's 
Let's take it up to level 85. Boom. So where are we at power-wise there? Uh, uh, 35,328. So not super powerful, but also no slouch. Obviously got to upgrade those other abilities and throw some resources at it, which I'm going to do um, just now. But there you go. That was the unlock video. Um, what did you think? Have you unlocked uh, the Falcon? Probably. It's been, you know, how have I got 3.6 million uh, uh, GP, but I still haven't unlocked uh, the Falcon. That's crazy. So I'm imagining most of you watching this video have already unlocked the Falcon. If you hadn't, hopefully um, it was interesting to see this and give you an idea of what you're going to face. If you had, maybe it was just some sweet, sweet memories remembering those awesome cinematic cut scenes there because it was a lot of fun. Uh, well, let me know how your Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes journey is going down below. Really uh, love to hear from you. Comments, criticisms, and suggestions always welcome. If you have found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like like a thumbs up down below. I really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel. And hey, while you're here, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I drop new gameplay and unlock videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force every single week. And I would love to have you along for the ride. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me today. Uh, that is all for Liam Aiden Gameplay today. I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, look after each other. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always.